Hey, Twitter world. Don't pet the llama. A pan-gender octopus who roams the cosmos in search of love. I'm never going to look at butt plugs the same. Apparently, ducks are rapists. I'm really uncomfortable with this conversation. So, you've been sick. I've had we've sickness been, of the head for a second. We've been on, like, a life journey. I think this is... Um, <laughs> This is kind of giving us an idea to what 2020 is bringing towards us because I think like everything like has this positive spin on it. Uh, yeah. So what you've been dealing with sucked with work stuff. So if anyone's been but listening, you have it's turning out well. Yes, you have heard my rantings about a certain fuckhead uh, at work, and um, so we had a meeting. And uh, we finally, after six months, had a meeting. Wait, which which one? A, B, C, D. B. Okay. Starts with a B. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, uh, <coughs> so the situation's over. You know, we'll I'll not try and be that much of a dick, but I'll just kind of explain what happened. So basically, after six months of trying to have a head cashier meeting to where we could all be on the same page and people would be, you know, respectful to each other and do their fucking job um there uh we finally had it and i've been you know we've all been talking about it for a while except for the one person that you know we uh we all have kind of an issue with so we finally sat down and uh just to give a little bit of insight on this situation i'm the pretty much the only or i was the only uh head cat male head cashier charlie the he's he's like a he's like a bookkeeper so now and he just kind of helps out um but uh so i didn't really can um <clears throat> consider him to be like a part of that, that group and no one else, everyone's like yeah yeah whatever um so it was me then um store director female um front end manager female uh other three head cashiers all female so i was the only male in the uh in the meeting and nowadays um not i mean not saying that a, you know anyone should be shitty to to anyone but um <laughs> knocking shit over uh but nowadays uh a guy says anything in any sort of aggressive way or you know frustrated way or anything that isn't pleasant or or anything like that it can be completely misconstrued and i could be taken as you know bullying a woman and that's just not a good look um, at all, but especially nowadays, everyone just kind of overreacts to things. So I just kind of, within five minutes, um, the, the person that we were all, that we all had an issue with um, started, uh, started crying, like tearing up. And I understand um, being emotional in situations. I tear up at things. I tear up at fucking movies. You know what I mean? I tear yeah. up. When talking about something or hearing hearing a certain line in a song, um, like I'm I'm serious, I can't get through it. Um, Fire from the Gods. There's a song I think Lifeline. There's a couple songs on that album where every time I hear it and I try and sing with, I, I can't sing with it because like my, my voice starts choking up because the lyrics, like they hit me, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I understand about being emotional, and I've been friends with Dan since I was like 18. That dude. Oh, tears up at Dan. every like I, I'm he's literally... gonna cry at his own wedding oh yeah well i mean you're supposed to but uh i teared up uh i just held it back yeah because i was trying to he's not gonna be able to hold that <laughs> oh, back fuck no you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to get some sort of water in an eyedropper and right right like as he's turned around i'm just gonna drop a bunch of water so it just looks like i am totally and completely crying just because you know gotta fuck with your best friend right um, at his wedding, which is happening, which we talked, yeah, we talked about that on the last time you called it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyways, but, um, so I understand, um, I understand being emotional in situations, but when it comes to work, that's a professional situation. You know what I mean? Especially when you're trying to have a meeting with someone and the way that I f take it is that's almost like a manipulation. Like, oh, look at me. I'm trying to get an emotional response from you. So you take pity on, not pity, but you um have sympathy for me you know what i mean and so i took that as like okay if that's the way this is gonna go then i'm just gonna say my piece and make sure that everyone understands where i'm coming from but i'm not going to engage as much as i as originally planned 
Um, and then, uh, so we were talking about notes on a whiteboard and it was a situation where I had written a couple things and, um, and it had gotten a ra- it was a whole fucking deal. And, uh, so person in question <laughs> is, uh, says, uh, you know, when you, when you write notes, um, they're very passive aggressive. And my response was, well, given the situation that I'm in, I can only be passive aggressive. I can't really say anything frustrated or anything because of what I had explained before. And she said, oh, and her response was, oh, you, don't, you can say whatever you want to me in whatever way. My husband um, speaks to me in a very aggressive way at home. And so you cried and then you used the I'm a battered wife card. Both those cards in a 30-minute meeting. There would have been so many things floating around in my head when she said that. Well, <laughs> That I couldn't say out loud. Well, I'm sorry, but <coughs> it's surprising that Meg from fucking Family Guy is married. Let's just put that... To, put that... That's weird. Have you ever seen her husband? I have not. Maybe he's made up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when Meg has made up boyfriends yes. from Family Guy. <laughs> um... But uh puts on a sock puppet when she gets home. <laughs> Don't yell at me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn. But no, it uh it just made me it just it just uh it just made me realize that the situation's not gonna get better. So I after that meeting I we got my resume ready and I was trying to look for other things and then I you know, I had I had told um basically second in command of the store uh who's one of my good buddies but uh and uh um uh he uh i had talked to him and let him know just kind of what was going on i told him and he wasn't in the meeting so when i told him what happened he was like that's a little unnecessary like his reaction was you know as managerial as he could be but you could tell like me and him are you know, friends, we joke around about, so if you could tell, he was just like, Jesus, what the, why are you fucking crying? <laughs> and so, um, <clears throat> so I had told him, I was like, yeah, I'm, you know, actively looking for other, you know, something else just because I don't see this working out and I don't want to be depressed when I come to work. It's the exact opposite. Like, obviously you're not going to like work, but I don't want to be fucking depressed. That's just not, not what I'm looking for, you know? And, uh, so I, ended up talking to the grocery manager um, and asking him if he had a spot, and he actually did. He had a couple people leaving. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to be a grocery clerk now instead of a head cashier. And uh, when you think about it, it's actually being demoted because uh, a, a head cashier is a supervisor and a grocery clerk is just a clerk. That's why I didn't understand why they gave you a raise, yeah, which a 60, I don't mind. They, got, they gave you an hour raise, which is um, which is amazing. That's still a good amount yeah. of a raise, but I was like, why? Why? Uh, I don't know. It was it was kind of funny when. Uh, I don't uh, understand your work and how they um, move people, like give raises and stuff. It's a little weird, and I think my annual is coming up in like July or something, so. You guys do all your your annuals at the same time. Oh. Huh. I don't know. I think it's... Because ours are based on, like, uh, when you get hired. uh, So, like, your hire date becomes your annual date. I think so. But I think because I switched over... Yeah, that's why it's so weird. Or whatever, I switched over. It makes me... It makes... Well, you know what's crazy? So, hearing your side of things... Mm -hmm. Um, as an employee and then all this craziness and like question marks about like your pay and other things Mm -hmm. like makes me more aware of how I need to communicate with my employees because coming from me with HR Mm -hmm. it's definitely a different side no but it's like it makes me aware of hmm you know like I have all the details about like specifics on our pay how we give you know pay out to people how we um, the benefits, all of that stuff. I know all those details with like a back of my hand. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, you know what? There may be a lot of employees that don't realize pay. And so, you know, when I have people call me or email me or whatever and ask, they're asking me questions like, when, when is my next pay raise and all that stuff? I'm like, 
oh, okay, like, look, because sometimes I'm like, dude, you should know. Yeah. But But then now I'm like, oh, looking at it from your perspective, I'm like, oh, man, so I'm trying to be... Like, more proactive. Yeah, more, like, trying to get out that information on a continuous basis to people. So thank you. I am so glad that my... uh, (laughs) <laughs> that my demise <laughs> with, yeah. with that is helping but um but no i mean it is it is good too because you know the more that people know about their situation the more information i think is better sometimes uh, my new details and stuff that you know that really need to know i mean but at least how you get paid when you get paid when you get a rate you know like certain things it should be pretty clear and i don't see that like even the main manager uh was was surprised that I was going to be getting a uh was going to be getting a raise. She like, we were talking she was like, "Oh, no, no, you're probably not you're probably not going to get one cuz my buddy who I talked to was like, "Yeah, if you go into grocery, you might get a raise." Yeah, that was making any sense to me. And so then me. I like relayed that to her and she was like, "Ah, you probably I mean, probably not." She was like, "Oh, but I can check it right here." And then 60 cents more. Yes. So Yeah, I'm so confused by cool. your work. Your work literally is so confusing on how they issue everything and here's the other thing too i'm like like at my work whenever somebody gets a pay increase like they get an actual like paper that says this is your effective date yeah this and so whether it's emailed or put it in your yeah like uh, employee um portal or whatever like i feel like your employer doesn't do that yeah i mean or maybe you do, just, and you just don't check your portal. Yeah, that's probably uh, probably what it is. Um, but uh, if it has anything to do with schedules, I check all those messages. But I don't know about all the other. I bet it's on there because they have to relay that information. Well, to yeah, you. and but I don't know if it changed over yet because I had that conversation today, and they were going to check on it, make sure that because today was the first day that I am actually a grocery clerk. So oh, yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll need to pay attention to they, that. I don't trust them. They asked me if I could if it, that made sure that I had to give them my give my. I'm gonna be on back. their butts about all the HR stuff. Okay, uh, that's just like me. your other job. Yeah, uh, and that's why I got money. That's why I got <laughs> what I got. Um, but anyway, so uh, positive on that end. I'm a lot happier. I don't have to deal with the monotony of. Hi, how you doing today? Did you find everything you were looking for? Would you like bags today? Oh, do you want your meat separate or just on the bottom with everything else? See, on top? now you can picture just saying, "Can I put that bad o- bag over your head and tie it exactly. tight?" <laughs> can I tie it really tight and then wham, slam your face on the top of the? I mean, I didn't say that at all. Um, yeah, it's probably not a good idea that I uh, have a razor blade on me at all times now. Yeah, no. but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it, it's cool. I mean, it. Uh, the grocery manager, he's a he's a good dude. He works hard, and he's already said that he likes the fact that I work fast and I work hard and I'm, I do my job. So, um, hoping that that works out uh, well. But so that's that has been a big part of it. Also, you uh, have been sick. Uh, yeah, I caught the kung flu. Got the kung flu. Damn. But um, yeah, cause we went to. I don't want to joke about that. Hopefully, I don't have <laughs> you, don't worry. the beer good. virus. <laughs> I had the Pacifico. Uh, <laughs> you got the Modelo, Modelo virus. <laughs> the Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you are pretty white. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If we float your boat, make sure to subscribe here. For more awesomeness in your ear holes, click one of these videos here. You just gotta follow the red arrow and poke it. Poke it real good. You're supposed to poke the video, not me, babe. I was.